Hello, welcome to my channel. I had done a YouTube video before about Ruben Micah Lewis, and I had read what was on the Charlie Project and the Doe Network. And somebody brought him up again, and when somebody brings him up again, I like to look again to see if I've looked through the does. Um, he went missing, it says, since February 21st, 1991, from Everett, Washington, 20 years old. Five foot eleven to six foot one. Hi, I'm that's odd. And and it says so then it gives you more information. And it says where he was last seen. Okay, so and then I went looking for, you know, unidentified males that might be him. And there's this one. And there's the image. So there's him. And I'll click on this so you can see the image above it. Hopefully that shows on your screen. So, yeah. I think that looks very similar to him. Anyway, um, let's see what this says. Found August 8th, 1991, and he went missing February 1991, so I don't know. Tilla McOregon, 25 to 35 years old. It says he was 20 years old. Let's see. Estimated um, PMI, 12 hours. Six foot five, though, but I couldn't find anybody else that fit the description, so I don't know if it's him or not. The body of a very tall, red-haired male was discovered washed on the shore of Cape Lookout State Park on the evening of August 8, 1991. This individual had distinctive mutton-chopped sideburns and a distinctive scar on his right chin. Please see both the physical medical clothing descriptions for further details. It says he had red hair and one day's beard growth, mutton chop style, hazel eyes. So. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I'm going to slide this back here. And we're going to go to NamUs. Missing persons. Male. How tall did they say that person was? Six foot five. So I'll go six foot four to six foot six. And how old did they say he was? 25 to 35. Twenty-five to thirty-five. Well, there's two people. Nashville, Tennessee, and California. So, we'll look at the person that's in California. I don't think that looks anything like him. And we went to Tennessee.
Nope. So let's see, what if I add the red hair? No one. So if I go to six foot to six foot eight, or someone in Michigan, nope. So yeah, the only person that I see is this person. The only person I see for this missing person, um, for this unidentified person, could be, it seems like him. And then there's this person right here, who also, you see the face of this right here, reminded me of him. And they had a post-mortem photo, but I clicked on it and nothing comes up. And I tried to do it in NamUs, and nothing comes up. And this person was six foot six. Also, Portland, Oregon, found May 9th, 1995. So, brown with a slight red tinge, balding, 6'6", six six, 215 pounds. So, brown wallet with no identification. So, in there, here it is in NamUs. Hazel eyes, brown hair. I don't know what color was his eyes. Um, height, weight, age, race. Why doesn't that, why not? Oh yeah, brown hair, blue green eyes. That's Hazel. His Hazel eyes. So. And I don't know if this one, did this one give the color of the eyes? Um, red auburn hair, hazel eyes. So see, there's this one. And that one. So, and I don't think I, I don't think I looked for those last time. But those were the only two that I could find that might fit them. And then I... So, and then I looked at missing persons that might fit him. Like I went from this unidentified male to look at missing persons because I had done that with the other one. So I thought, well, I'll do this with this him as well. So he was found May 1995, 20 to 35 years old. So I'm looking for missing persons. And this man went missing in 1995 in May. And he was missing from California. 26 years old. It says he was only 6 foot 1 to 6 foot 3. So, uh, brown hair, blue eyes. And what kind of clothes was this guy wearing? Gray fleece windbreaker. Levi Strauss jeans. 34, 36 weight. 36 length. I don't know how tall that is for the 36 length. Um, dark gray t-shirt with breast pocket. Cascade sport brand. White brief underwear. Hanes. Black walking shoes. Size 13. So, like I said, there's this one, and he kind of looks like he could. It seems like a long ways to be, though. And then there's this person from Helena, Montana. Six foot three. Last seen January 1995. Brown hair, green eyes. Scars on back and face. Is this anywhere? Okay. And then this person, he went missing from Walla Walla, Washington. But he went missing November 25th, 1995. 
six foot two to six foot three, 38 years old. I don't know if I missed anybody, but those were the ones that I found. So, and then there's also him, but I really thought that that one, even though that's taller than him, I don't know. So if you have any information about what happened to Reuben Micah Lewis, you know, because maybe something happened to him at that apartment complex that they said that he was at, because that's where they think something happened to him, or maybe... He's this un unidentified male in Tillamook, Oregon, that the body was found in August, which is sometime later, so maybe not, okay? Or maybe that's him, and that's May 9th, 1995, that's still, that's years later, so I would think this one maybe, but, you know, I'm just looking. And guessing and estimating. And I don't know because I wasn't there. But somebody was there. So people know what happened to him. There are people that know what happened to him. I believe that only what, whoever did whatever they did know. But I believe they talked and told other people. And those other people know. And his family doesn't have the closure they need. So if you know what happened to him. Please contact authorities and let them know. If you know who this unidentified male is. Which seems like somebody would know please contact authorities and let them know because this is somebody's loved one um this unidentified male as well if you know who this is please contact authorities and let them know and if you know what happened to uh robert carl rock please let authorities know because and i I should have went from Robert Carl Mock and then looked, Robert Carl Rock, sorry, and then looked into unidentified people to see if I could find somebody in California that might fit him, as well as this man in Helena, Montana. We'll do just Robert Carl Rock real quick. Hold on. Which makes the video longer. and Some people don't like that. So we'll go to NamUs and we'll go to Unidentified Persons. And he's male. May 3rd, 1995. So we'll go. 1995. 1995. How tall was he? Six foot one to six foot three. Six foot one to six foot three. Eighteen. So we have. Okay. New York, New York, Nevada, New York, New York, Florida, New Jersey, Arizona, Pennsylvania, Florida, Massachusetts. And nobody in California. Um, how old was he? 26 years old. Yeah, the one in Nevada is 45 years old. Let's see. Arizona. May third, nineteen ninety five. Queens, New York. There's somebody found May third, nineteen ninety five. It's a long ways away. I don't think so. Unknown man, male found in a suitcase at the corner of 51st Street and 47th Street next to the cemetery. Yellow button neck, short sleeve Levi's shirt, size extra large, blue Adidas shorts, red socks. So 
Six foot one. That's crazy. That's the day he went missing, though. That's an awful long ways to get. So, and you could go look. But anyway, if you know what happened to him, please let authorities know. And... Wow, in a suitcase. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to pray for their loved ones and their families. And please come forward if you have any information. Even if you came forward years ago, maybe you feel like it's different investigators and they don't know, they don't have the information that you may have given years ago. Um, don't forget, to, like I said, all these people don't have closure for their families. So if you have any information, they deserve closure. And... Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great day. Bye-bye.